Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to Millennial Gameplay. Last time on Crash 2, I had um, underestimated drastically this last warp room. Uh, very drastically, but we're not quite uh, ready to continue on to the other two levels because there's something that uh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> there's something that I neglected to do earlier back in this warp room at, uh, let's see, this level right here. So getting right down to things, there's no need for boxes or anything because I already died. That's why there's no need for that. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. You know, I don't think up until this point I ever died to a single one of those uh, Piranha Plant bullets like this entire playthrough. So, uh, first times for everything, as always. Um, anyway, so let's just keep moving on. By and large, I do actually uh, like these um, digging it style levels as well, except for that one part where I had to go back a whole bunch of times because I couldn't get past those bees because, you know... Why make things simple whenever you can make things exceedingly difficult? It's a, you know, it's a great philosophy in life to have. I'm sure everybody everywhere will love you if you have that philosophy. Just make everything as difficult as possible and you can get your life just fine. Like getting that point across. Like I could have gotten that point across a lot simpler than I did, but I just kept uh, adding more. Because I didn't, I didn't want to stop. Just didn't want to. It's not my style. One thing I want to mention, um, as we go forward through this part that's incredibly hard to get through backwards, is... In the last episode, I had to restart that one level with the... Um, <laughs> with the death route over and over again, because if you die past a death route, that still counts as dying. Like, the only way you can get the death route to remain open after dying is if you do it while starting from the very beginning of the level. Which, by and large, is... well, not going to happen if you're trying to get the gems on that level. Okay, got a little scared there. Um, anyway, so here's the thing that I forgot to do. Or, I say neglected because it's you know, more fun. That. Secret. And now we've entered the secret warp room for what I believe is the last time. And we go into... Um, Road to Ruin, once more. Uh, I love these levels so much. Can't remember if it's okay to haphazard... Nope, it's not okay to haphazardly just spin into these boxes. Alright, glad I figured that one out. Stand like right here, I'm sure it's fine. Yep. That is such a troll move. Come on. I missed. <laughs> I missed the platform. I was so focused on not messing up the uh, timing that I completely biffed it and just destroyed any chances. Alright, let's uh, head back towards the screen a little bit. There you go. And that being done, this is where the path reconnects. And that's how you are able to get all the boxes in this uh, level. I forget if anything is back here. Now just the original warp room. <laughs> Alright then. And now we just pretend like we started the level from normal.
I don't believe there was a um, a single box on the death route, so we don't. I don't think we have to worry about that. If we do, no big deal. I should be able to do the thing anyway. Because I've already done it once, and as we know, if I've already done something. It means I'm clearly going to be capable of doing it a second time without fail. Because that's how that works. Huh. Weird. The death route didn't show up anyway. Oh well. Can't change the past. I guess that will... will hmm, that's weird. Because the death route showed up again whenever I died from the original warp room in the other level. I don't get it. But, that being said, let's just continue on. Um, I wonder if I have any more stories to talk about while I have uh, this time to go back through this level that I've already been through before. I mean, I don't think I actually went through the bonus room on this before, so that should be interesting. Oh, I remember this bonus room. I don't think I did go through it on screen, but I do remember this bonus room. It's a good one. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that first part or why. But yeah, pretty basic warp or warp room, bonus room. Yeah, off the top of my head, I can't think of any stories, so I'm just gonna either talk about the game or just meander about with my thoughts for a little while. Um, for one thing. Speaking of talking about the game and me entering about my thoughts, Al. Um, that uh, those monkey fire breathing heads. I don't like think they have holes in the back of their throats. So I wonder where does the fire come from? Like, are, all, are they all magical? Who knows. All right, now we're gonna head on back up. All right, so the first of the crash only levels on this warp room, Rocket. So I've not been looking forward to these uh, levels because I, oh, that's cool. That's new. All right, so... Okay, no, they changed the controls on them. That is awesome. Thank you, creators of Crash Bandicoot. So, uh, it used to be, uh, this is kind of, it's still kind of weird, um, that the flight, you would do forward and backwards, I believe, through the analog stick, and then you would do up, left, down, and whatever with the other thing. Um, but now they've changed the controls to L2 and R2 with the uh, forward and back. And then you can just use uh, the regular buttons for the rest. At least that's how I think it was. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm talking over my ass completely. I have no idea. I remember the controls were wonky as fuck, though. I think it may have just been that it was originally inverted, which I am absolutely not doing. Um, because I don't want to. I don't like inverted controls. I don't see the point in it. That said, I still hate the caution I have to take with these levels. Now I have to take the caution with these levels. I They're better than the bear levels, mind you, but um, I'm not good at them. These are definitely good levels. I like the ideas um, of, you know, Crash going through space. But at the same time, I do not like the idea of uh, so much caution.
Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Hold on, uh, let me try something. Then we run away. Now that I remember it, maybe inverted was good for this because it's still kind of stupid to me. Uh, this is going to be a long episode, not because I have to do a lot of things, but simply because I'm terrible at going through these levels. Like, if I ever have to do the stupid time trial, which I will at some point in my uh, career, I will never get through it in a timely fashion. Those guys actually made a return from Crash 1. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just ignore that one up. That one up can live its own life. Doesn't need me. Yeah, a lot of this level is just kind of pumping the gas a little bit. Like, not gonna lie, it's definitely strange. Like, like really strange. All right, so this one looks tricky because it's no, but it's really not. What you gotta do? You just gotta time it out. Feel shock, and then just fucking rush him. Wait a bit, and then rush him again. Problem solved. That is such a cool way to take on and off jetpack. I missed a single box. Of course I did. Alright. Well, that sucks. I'll be back. Alright, well if I was going to miss a box, it would probably be that one, right? I don't know. Let's find out. Alright, yeah, I guess it was that one that I thought I missed. Hmm. Alright, so I think I got a lot of practice in on uh, the rocket level. So uh, the only logical conclusion is to go into a level that's almost exactly the same. Alright, let's do it again. I think I'll be way more impressive at this this time. With, you know, a little less caution here and there. Which is 
look for boxes. Yeah. I would hate to miss another one and have to go through all this again. Which, you'd think in a level that, like, you have almost complete control of, like, your spatial position, that you wouldn't be likely to miss any boxes, considering none are, are ever out of reach. But they're definitely often out of sight. Like, I... Try me, Electro Man. That'd be a pretty crappy uh, box to mix. Mix, miss. Checkpoint. Um, now, playing through these jetpack levels reminded me of something, and that is that the Game Boy Advance Crash Bandicoot game um, was Crash Purple, uh, which was actually not a bad game, but it does remind me that like it had this thing where you just had to like pump the A button and you couldn't hit the roof or the ceiling, and you had to try and get all the boxes. Those were some hard levels. Like, they were jetpack things levels. There were some hard levels, though. Like, the entire game, by and large, was just a bunch of mini-games and the occasional, um, like, actual decent level. Like, you know, I say it, it was any, it was all side-scrolling regardless of, like, everything else about it, but I remember it just had like a ton of mini games. Like there was a tank mini game, there was a um like a swim down the river kind of mini game. Um the aforementioned uh, float up and down sort of uh, jetpack mini game. Um some sort of bonus like mini game about bouncing up and down I think. Um was one of them. That's all I can remember at the top of my head. There was also its counterpart, uh, this, you know, Spyro counterpart to it, um, Spyro Orange. Alright, first try. Righteous. Also, before I fin finish this episode up, I remember those stupid bear levels came back and they were side-scrolling and I hated them. Ugh, that was so terrible. I, 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 I just remembered that I repressed that memory. <laughs> yes! My plan is nearly complete. And I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for it. Engine, what's happening? What's that? Is she stealing our signal? Crash, Cortex isn't gonna use the crystals to contain the planet's energy. He's gonna harness the force and use it to power the super Cortex vortex he's built on his space station. One blast and the ray will cover the entire world, turning everyone into Cortex's mindless slaves. Crash, don't let him have those crystals! Engine, you fool! She's telling him everything! Oh. Yes, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're back now. Pardon the, uh, interruption. Crash, bring me crystals! I mean, the chick's kind of up right now. You're not fooling anybody. But bringing him the crystals, we'll have to wait for the next episode. I will see you guys next time.